We're here at uh, Jitex 2024 in Dubai, and Huawei has jointly released its public services and smart city solution with partners in overseas markets. To share best practices and successful stories, and to discuss the future dig digitalization and intelligent development of cities, I have with me today Mr. Wang Bin, who is the CTO of Government Public Services Digitalization Business Unit at Huawei, and Mr. Jia Zibei, who is Chairman of Shenzhen Oday Data Technology Company Limited. Gentlemen, welcome. Great to have you with me today. Mr. Wang, let me start with you. What solutions has Huawei launched for the public services sector at Jitex 2024? Okay, to build a city that is more intelligent, more efficient, more livable, and more caring, at GTEx Global 2024, Government Public Services Digitalization Business Unit has released the City Intelligent Twins architecture of Smart City. Meanwhile, we jointly released the Overseas One Stop Public Service Solution and Overseas Smart City Solution with partners. In the future, we will continue to introduce more innovative solutions and look forward to collaborating with even more cities. And Mr. Wang, could you tell me more about Huawei's Intelligent Operations Center or IOC solution? With urbanization rating get higher, cities are becoming more complex. Therefore, we need a unified digital management platform to improve comprehensive city management performance. Huawei a City IOC solution contains three major capabilities. First, it provides real-time status of a city. Decision-making can use it to make quick, informed decisions. Second, IOC supports voice and video conferences for emergencies and major events. With this capability, city officials can dispatch resources effectively to deal with city problems as quick as possible. Third, IOC uses AI-assisted data analysis to identify city risks accurately, such as fire hazards. This function can help city officials make decisions efficiently. And Mr. Jia, could I uh, ask you, as a partner of Huawei Government Public Services Digitalization Business Unit in the overseas market, what areas has ODAC explored using Huawei's smart city platform, and what progress has been made? As an important partner of Huawei Government Public Service Digitalization BU, ODIC Data Technologies leveraging its experience from dozens of successful projects in China has co-developed a national data solution tailored for overseas government data resource systems called N42. This solution consists of several data-driven applications uh, with uh, government and public service digitalization BO being the flagship. Four supporting systems like data exchange, data catalog, data standards, and data security systems. And the two uh, foundational capabilities, uh, such as digital infrastructure and the data resource systems. And Mr. Wang, what are the key advantages of Huawei's urban governance solution? To build a livable, efficient, and safe city, we need to establish a full cycle city management workflow, including invent discovery, analysis, handling, and assessment. Huawei offers the urban governance solution for this with four key functions. First, intelligent discovery. We use AI to automatically discover city invents and to improve work efficiency. Second, Automatic Invent Dispatching City Invents are aggregated from all channels, all domains, and all scenarios. More than 80% of Invents can be automatically dispatched, uh, which can improve efficiency by five times. The third is Collaborative Handling. The Coordinator Command platform ensures efficient collaboration across departments, platforms, and government levels. Implementing closure and of urgent events in less than 24 hours. The last one is efficiency analysis. We have nine warning models as well as intelligence reports, which can help 
warm decision makers in advance. Mr. Jia, what successful cases has ODAC achieved in the Middle East and other overseas markets based on Huawei's City Intelligent Twins solution? To date, in collaboration with Huawei, ODAC has successfully implemented this solution in an African country and Kenya's Kanza Technopolis. We have streamlined the national data resource catalog for the clients and built a structured data sharing exchange channel. This has significantly improved data quality through data governance efforts. Supporting the implementation of key applications like government public service digitalization and the city IOC. For example, in one African government public service digitalization project, we conducted through research across relevant ministries, organizing a national data resource catalog, or built by building a data sharing platform and defining relevant standards, we achieved a structured data flow between ministries. Data consumers, where the sharing platform can now search and subscribe to the required data from the data providers. Take the example of applying for a national ID. Previously, citizens had to visit multiple departments to collect various documents with a process taking up to 17 working days. With a data exchange system and a national population database we built, inter-ministry data sharing is now streamlined. Service departments can subscribe to data in advance, reducing the need to, for citizens to provide numerous documents. With data verification based on the population database, the entire approval process was optimized, reducing it to just four working days. This greatly improved efficiency, allowing the government to handle more through data, while citizens benefit from less paperwork and fewer trips, ultimately enhancing their experience and a sense of achievement from the government's digital transformation. And lastly, Mr. Wang, are there any successful cases that can be used as a benchmark for other regions and countries? And what improvements have these cases brought to local, city, and public services? In China, Huawei has supported the digital transformation of government services in over 100 cities, including Shenzhen, Shanghai, Xi'an, achieving one-stop services, public affairs. In Shenzhen's Futian district, each public demand is addressed with a 103024 mechanism, means every contact demands need to be feedback within 10 minutes, and initial solution is provided within 30 minutes. For urgent cases, they are resolved within 24 hours. The average processing time has been reduced from 20 business days to just 10 business days now. Additionally, the resolution rate for such cases has reached 100%, with a 99.4% citizen satisfaction rate. In a country in Africa, the one-stop service project is being implemented, introducing full-stack solution provided by Huawei and partners, covering the cloud infrastructure, national database, middleware, applications, and access portal. Mr. Wang, Mr. Jiao, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.